So moving on to the next section, which is how to secure account. So securing your account is is very critical, um, especially in this industry, as we are, you know, most people are targeted and most people don't know, um, sort of, they don't have a lot of knowledge on cryptocurrencies, so they are more susceptible to hackers and scammers. So securing your account allows you to add that level of security and reassurance that your funds uh, will not be hacked or stolen from. So you actually have already completed one of the three major steps to secure account. If you registered an account using your email, uh, you would have already set up, set up your email verification code. Um, the next two are Google Authentication and then mobile SMS. And then I'll also touch on the additional security measures such as the YubiKey verification and the anti-phishing code as well. <clears throat> so moving on to the first step. So how to secure your account. Pretty, pretty similar, um, um, pretty easy. You hover over your profile icon, click on security. You can actually see here now, um, you can, you have, I guess, four different ways to secure your account. Security key, your Google authentication, your SMS authentication, your email address. Your email address should have already been done. Um, so we're gonna touch on how to, to kind of verify um, how to secure account using Google authentication. <clears throat> so first things first, click on the on button. You'll then receive a pop-up um, that says to download the app. You can actually download the app via your iOS or Android. Um, and then you essentially on your mobile phone, once you've downloaded the app, you then have to scan the QR code, which you can see here. I've tried to scan it. What that does is it allows you to generate a, a key, um, which is in this, in this regard, it's six digit number. And essentially what happens is um, this six digit number, you, can, you have to uh, apply it to the Google verification code. And then at the same time, we'll also send a email verification code just to make sure. So typically the email verification code, uh, once you click on send code, it will send you an email uh, with a six digit number. You have to type that six digit number here from your email. And then at the same time, type that six digit number here as well. There's usually a time limit. It's usually roughly 60 seconds. So um, 60 seconds, I think this is 30 seconds. So Google Authenticator will, the code will refresh after 30 seconds. So, um, so you have to be quick um, in regards to doing all the, um, all the verification. So once you've um, put your six digit code uh, for both Google verification and email address, you now have successfully linked your Google Authenticator. <clears throat> so the next step after this is to secure account using phone or SMS. So this is pretty simple. You click on on, and then you'll be given a pop-up, um, which allow you to enter your phone number. Um, and then same, similar to the previous step, um, you'll click on send code, and then it will send a code to your phone number. Again, it's six digit long. And then at the same time, you have to do the same thing with email verification and the Google verification. Now, something to bear in mind that is um, remember what, um, there is a time limit on these codes. So if you send your email verification code, um, the, the code that you receive in an email will be valid for a certain period of time. And the same thing for the Google verifications code. So you have to be very fast at doing all of the free and making sure that you receive the codes for each individual ones uh, within the time frame. <clears throat> so once you've, uh, now you've set up your Google Authenticator, you've also linked your mobile SMS. Um, the additional security measures that you can um, that you can do to help secure account even further, which is a security key. Um, and a, an example of a security key is called YubiKey. And essentially what a security key is, is just like, um, it's a way for you to, to secure account using fingerprint, uh, finger touch. So YubiKey, you can see here as an example, um, they come in um, all shapes and sizes, different formats, different uh, makers. Typically the cost for a YubiKey would range about 40 to 70 pounds. Um, I would recommend um, people have a YubiKey or some type of security key because it allows you to secure your account even further. <clears throat> so essentially, um, the same step that you then have to um, click on setup. Um, you then, you know, 
insert your YubiKey um, into your laptop or your desktop uh, computer. And then um, you just have to, you know, touch these for a certain period of time. And that's essentially um, you've binded your, your security key with, uh, with your account. Um, now, the, the last uh, security measure, which would be setting up an anti-phishing code. So this is actually quite simple as well and definitely recommend everyone to do this. So setting up an anti-phishing code essentially allow you to create um, a unique text uh, which in this case is BTC 20K. You can create any code or any lettering that you want. And essentially what happens is once you've created it, whenever you receive an email, an automated email from Binance, you'll be able to see your anti-phishing code um, on the email. Now this is useful because um, in case you do get emails claiming to be from Binance saying, um, you need to reset your account and you don't see this anti-phishing code, then you know it's not from Binance. It's from a impersonator or hacker, for example. So definitely set up the anti-phishing code. It'll allow you to identify if the email was sent out from Binance. Um, and if it's not, you can report it and ignore the, the email. So again, those are some helpful tips to, to secure account even further. Now, if you do have any issues with receiving codes, your email code, Google authentication code or M mobile SMS code, um, I've provided some FAQ articles um, to sort of diagnose further. <clears throat> now, if you do have any issues, please contact live support um, and um, explain the issue to our customer support team. They'll be able to diagnose and help investigate further. Um, something to note is if you have created an account using mobile SMS, you cannot use it for another account. So you cannot use the same um, authentication for another account. This is something to keep on top of. 